sure that we're all on the same page on. Ladies and gentlemen, if I was going to go ahead and simplify this, the main important thing is I would say, all right, is there a rules of exponents that we have talked about that we can apply to this? And yes, if I have x to, you know, x times y to the a raised to the m power, remember we talked about the power to product rule. And what the power to product rule says is that if we have a product, power to product, if we have a product raised to a power, we di distribute that. So therefore, that's x to the m times y a to the m. right? So if something's already raised to a power, then I have to raise it again to another power. right? And then this would be the product rule. Yes? So you do that when you multiply by x, you multiply by y, and then times Well, remember, what does the power rule say? The power rule says if you have an exponent, raised to another power, you multiply the powers. Right? So that would be y to the a times m. Okay, so it right. would be y times m and a times m. So it would be y times y a times m. Right. Y to the a times m. Okay. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and so let's go and apply that to this. So if I distribute the one fifth power, that's going to be negative 32 to the 1 fifth power and y to the 15th to the 1 fifth power. Mm -hmm. Now, do I, understand, do I know what negative 32 to the 1 fifth is? Conceptually, no. I don't really understand what that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite that as a radical expression. So if I rewrote that as a radical expression, that is the root. That's the power. So it's the fifth root of negative 32. Then these, when I have a power raised to a power, I multiply, right? So that's going to be 15 times 1 fifth, which is just y cubed. All right, so you might not say, oh, I don't know what the fifth root is. Well, again, think about what does the fifth root says? The fifth root says, what number is multiplied by itself five times, right? Well, to determine that, if I can't think of it off the top of my head, you can always break this down. What we learned how to simplify was by using the factor tree. Um, let's just make this like negative 8, or it really doesn't matter, negative. Let's just do 8 times 4, 4 times 2, 2 times 2, 2 times 2. How many times am I multiplying 2 by itself to give me 32? Five. 5. So guess what? I can, two? But it's 2, but since it has to be negative, the answer is actually going to be negative 2. Because you can take the odd root of a negative number. So your final answer is negative 2y cubed. Done. Fine.